Even now as I speak, the heads have rebelled. Yeah. The principals have rebelled. You cannot keep on students in school while they're hungry. So they said these learners must go back home. And that is contrary to the policy that we have in this country. All learners must be in school. We want to appeal to the government. Can we check on timely capitation to our schools so that learners remain in school? So that heads are not seen as being biased to learners. So that heads are not seen to be going against the government policy. At times we are pushed to the wall. So the question I want to tell you is, uh, I looked at a document that was presented to my office by the current chairman of Kenya Schools, uh, Secondary Schools Heads Association. It is pathetic, my brother. And I want to tell you, even earlier, the issue of capitation for senior school was at 21,000. Immediately, it was reduced to 17,000. We don't understand the rationale. And I want to tell you that heads are crying. Principals are crying. The situation is pathetic. I, can't, I, don't, I don't want to go beyond that. If you understand the word pathetic, <laughs> that is the situation. That is the situation. I don't want to go into nitty gritties of explaining pathetic. It is simply pathetic. <laughs> Period. Again, issues that are also pertinent the promotion of teachers. Yes. 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 Our teachers sat for interviews. Mm. And congratulations teachers who sat for interviews. Mm. And I still have a beef to chew with Teacher Service Commission. You cannot tell us that teachers are not stagnated. Yet we know teachers who have been the same, same grade for over 12 years. Yeah. They went for the interviews. Not even yesterday alone, they've attended interviews more than three times. Mm -hmm. And look at the promotions. If you want to be transparent and you give the TSC numbers of those who have been promoted, do you mean the TSC numbers don't bear names? We want the names of those teachers who are promoted. We want Teacher Service Commission to give us room as we requested these promotions must be audited. Our teachers must be satisfied. If I missed it, this is the reason. And what we want to tell Teacher Service Commission, and I want to repeat, let nobody at Teacher Service Commission object the fact that teachers have stagnated in job groups. This is so clear. I have a teacher who actually graduated to the next job group, only B5 to C1 since 2007. What do you say about it? And the whole deputy head teacher have sat for interviews to be a head teacher. Nothing doing. Nothing doing. We must be told. We must be told. Sisi tunakula kwa sababu ya hawa limu. They contribute so that we eat. And that is why you can look at the faces of my sector is beaming with delight. These are happy people because they eat from the contributions. We want to eat because we also serve. And those we serve must be given proper justice. I have a few issues to address as teachers, and these ones I cannot shy away from. One, the two bills in parliament, the education bill, basic education bill 2024, and the teacher service commission bill 2024. We had time to look into first the teacher service commission bill 2024. And I want to say, and all members here know too well, much as I do, that we were not pleased with the issues that were raised in this bill. And that is why at one point we said, we are not attending your meeting, and we did not attend. And that was with the support of the 110 branches here today, led by the branch secretaries who are here. And we had that backing. The structures of uh, Kenya National Union you know, of Teachers are well spread and cannot be doubted at any one point. We have the branch secretaries running these branches. And when we come to the headquarters, even when others say Nati is doing nothing, have you gone to the extent of the grassroots leadership of this union and actually seen what is going on there? I laugh at times and say, if you say Nati is not working, do you know the structures of the union? 
And I want to repeat here and now that the power of this union is in the grassroots. And I also want to reiterate that these people being here today is a clear indicator that Kenya National Union of Teachers is organized so much in the 110 branches for service delivery to teachers in this country. Right. Where we have uh, all the executive secretary assembling here with one agenda, bringing Kenya's teachers together, whereby they are going to be addressed by our Secretary General, Corinne Henry Oyu. Kalibu. Some of the important benefits that as a member you need to remember. We don't discriminate. So if you have any pre-existing condition, you have any chronic condition, even if it's HIV related complications. We shall never be divided for the union is our strong. Thank you.